Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Yoda from SegaDriven.com and welcome back to the Sega Driven YouTube channel. You might be wondering why we're looking at the floor. Well, we're not going to be looking at the floor for much longer because we're going to be looking at another Tiger Electronics LCD game, an adaptation of a Sega property and you've probably already guessed what we're looking at because you've seen the title of the video and the thumbnail and all that. So let's get to it. It's Sonic 2! Um, so yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 released in 1992 by Tiger Electronics. Um, now, we've already looked at the original Sonic the Hedgehog Tiger Electronics game, as well as the Sonic 3D one, which we haven't um, been able to really get working very well because the screen is so massively faded. A real shame. And yes, to people who have commented on that video and said, did you change the batteries? Uh, yes, I did. I'm not that stupid, mate. Anyway, let's talk about this one because this is quite ambitious, actually. So, um... We'll turn it on and I'll show you what the gameplay is like and then we'll have a little discussion. Also, I'm going to do a little bit of gameplay with the audio just so you get an idea of what it sounds like and then I'm going to turn it off because it's bloody irritating. Okay, let's do this. Right. Right, enough of that. Okay, so yes, it is um, using a very sped up version of the um, Emerald Hill Zone two player theme, which is pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, we, we've got a sort of uh, oil ocean looking background. We can attack enemies. And the big thing that it does, which I think is quite ambitious and very impressive, is it does loop the loops. Um, so yeah, you're basically t pressing this action button to jump and hit enemies. Um, you have to use that platform that's moving left to right in the middle of the screen there to actually reach those enemies. So when it's underneath you, you can jump off it, and then that's how I can attack that coconut bad Nick. Um, and same again with um, this little guy, this little flash bug thing on the on the side here. Um, yeah, and that's how you attack enemies. Um, when it comes to the loops, you actually can't just run round them. Uh, when they appear, you actually have to move back first and then move forward to get enough momentum to do it. Which, again, is quite impressive, I've got to say. Like, uh, there's an understanding that the momentum is something that you need to use in a Sonic game there, and I just, that's just absolutely crazy. Um, we're on the boss now. That's, that's Robotnik. And I think we've done him. There we go. So we, we move on. Um, yeah, crazy stuff. Really, really impressive. Just... Um, a very ambitious and bizarrely well-formed uh, take on Sonic 2. Let's put the sound back on. I think we moved into stage 2. Or I have died. It could be that I've died. Oh, no, nope, we've moved into stage 2. I think it's based on Oil Ocean. Yeah, let's look at the bad next. Nuts. Okay. See if I can get that one the back. There we go. Oh, I may have died. It's interesting that you can fall in the water as well. That's quite interesting. Well, I, I suppose if it's oil ocean zone, it'll be the the oil itself, won't it? Right, let's position it so I can get up to him. There we go. I don't think we're getting any loops this stage. Oh, that's me done. And there you go, that's a pretty decent enough demonstration of what Sonic 2 is like for Tiger Electronics LCD. Um, I think that's quite impressive, to be honest with you. Like I say, it's very ambitious for them to try it and do momentum and also loops on an LCD game, but they pull it off quite well. And um, honestly, once you can suss out what you're doing and, you know, the rules of using that platform to jump up to enemies that you can't normally reach, 
um, it becomes quite an, a, a simple thing to play actually it's um yeah again quite a decent take on it the only thing that's very difficult with these things is knowing why and when you're being hit by other enemies it's, it doesn't seem to make an awful lot of sense as to why that's happening and how you can avoid it it's very trial and error but again i just think that that is a very impressive uh take on sonic 2 on such uh you know underpowered and very archaic piece piece of electronics um yeah very impressed by that to be honest with you um Let's have a little bit more of it, I guess. <laughs> 